Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your professor Sam DiGiamarino. Today we're going to be talking about supply and demand and the good, the bad, and the ugly about supply and demand. Okay, Let's begin with some graphing basics. Okay. We always start off an economics graph uh, with the dollars on the vertical axis going up and down. Okay, We always start off with zero at the bottom and uh, as we progress up the graph we go from a lower price to a higher price now on the horizontal axis across the bottom we put the quantity that we're going to be talking about how many of whatever the thing is starting off with zero at the left and progressing from a few to a lot as we move to the right okay let's go ahead and construct a demand curve We'll begin, we need some data to work with. So in the upper right hand corner, we're gonna have some data that's been collected. We're gonna be dealing with coffee beans. And at $9 a pound, we'll find that there's a demand for 1 million pounds of coffee. Okay. At $7 a pound for coffee beans, there's a demand for 3 million pounds. At $5 a pound, at 5 million pounds. At $3 a pound, 7 million pounds. At a dollar a pound, nine million pounds will be demanded. Now we can plot those points, okay? And by adding our dollars on the vertical axis and our quantity across the horizontal axis, now we begin plotting the points. And at nine dollars, we plot where one million pounds would be. At seven dollars, we plot where the three million would be. At five dollars a pound, we plot where the five million would be and so forth. Okay? We end up with a series of dots plotted on our graph. We can connect those dots with a curve. In this case the curve is actually going to be a straight line uh, because our data fits a straight line okay? and it makes explaining the graph a lot easier. Remember every time you see a straight line on this particular uh, display that we are going to be talking about a demand curve. Okay? Now we'll label our curve uh, with D1 and D1 at both at the top and at the bottom. The D stands for demand. The 1 stands for the first demand curve that we are discussing in this particular analysis. Okay. And you notice that the demand curve does slope down and to the right. And we're going to explore further in uh, part 2 a little bit more information about the demand curve. Thank you.